Hey guys, if you're looking for specifically science or math lessons, maybe you teach a STEM class using Flipgrid, stay tuned, this video is for you. If you're virtual learning with students at home, you know they probably have a bathroom scale. All you need to do is tell those kids to grab something weird or funky around their house as long as it's appropriate, throw it on that bathroom scale and you can get that number. Now from there, you can actually convert it into grams or deal with the metric system and convert it right up and down the line. So go from the English system over to kilograms, drop it down to grams, talk about the difference between mass and weight. Okay, you could also have a really cool density conversation with this. If you've got all your class, whether that's, you know, seven kids or 25 or 50 kids measuring things out, you could generate a really quick homework assignment. But with density, give them a standard volume and then ask them, hey, what if your object were crammed into that standard volume of, say, 100 milliliters? How would its density change and which object would be the most dense? It'd be a great way to get at the fact that if we can pack more matter into a finite space, that that that's what makes the density go up. Now flip it around the other way. Ask students to find a three-dimensional object that they can measure the length times width times height, and then they can actually calculate the volume. Then have them figure out how the density would be changed if they had a standard mass, but we're spreading it out into a larger or, or packing it into a smaller volume. So you could get that relationship or higher order thinking between density and how it's made up of its components of mass and volume. So if students have a bathroom scale at home, do that math conversion to flip it all over into the metric system and then calculate something else. I'm sure you could use your creativity if you have ideas or some other way that you could have kids do measurements to get a quantitative data and then manipulate that data as a class or just randomly generate questions that students could practice on. Just drop it down in the comments. I'd love to hear how you're using the Flipgrid platform or any creative ideas that you have for the community. So uh, again, for Ball Guys, this is Brian. I hope that was helpful. And um, check out all of our other tutorials on all sorts of stuff. We're gonna be doing a lot more science and math type uh, tutorials, but uh, check us out, Ball Guys, have a great day.